day two of Christmas Inky Art School is just about to kick off and today my friends we are learning to draw a snowman. I did some terrible singing at the end of yesterday's video for which my children will be mortified but if you would like to draw a snowman these are the things that you will need. Some paper, I am just using really basic white office copy paper, your clicky pencil, your pigment liner and your eraser. All the details for the exact art materials I use are below, above, to the side, swipe down, somewhere around here, so you can find them there. Enough talk, let's draw this snowman. So I've grabbed my clicky pencil and we're going to be drawing our happy little snowman. Now I do have a couple of little guide marks here, just ignore those. They're mainly, mainly? They're mainly for me because um, this is actually the second time I've drawn this snowman, the first time. He got rather decapitated. Um, you couldn't see the top of his head. So take two, draw a circle, draw a slightly larger circle, overlapping in a sort of Venn diagram way. Draw a third circle, bigger. So you've got top, middle, bottom, teeny, middle-sized, large, each with a overlap. Just checking that we're still in frame. Learned my lesson this time. Now, hat. Several different hatage op options for our snowman. Wooly hat, bowler hat, party hat. I'm gonna go with top hat, mainly because it's the easiest. Draw a French fry at a jaunty angle upon his heed or head. <laughs> then add the hat bit. So I like to do it sort of curved in slightly. I just think it looks jaunty and a little bit dapper. A bit of a ribbon going on there. And there we go. Top hat. Uh, here's his wee face. Next we're going to do a scarf. So a sort of curved line here. Echo it down here on what would be his neck. A couple of little edges. There we go. Um, not very important. Bit of a square going on. And then I do one end coming down like this. Do it narrower here, getting slightly wider at the bottom. And the same this way. If you do um, this end going off like this, gives it a bit of whoosh motion. Add a bit of fringing. And let's have some stripes. Uh, so if they're going that way on here, they'll be up and down the way up here. And then, top tip, when it comes to the knot, do them sort of diagonal, and that looks like the knot's been sort of all bundled up a little bit. Now, eyes, two wee lumps of coal. Carrot nose, top tip. See if you get the eyes even just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit wobbly, it just looks so skewed. Right, carrot nose. Do a curly curve, just like that, very gently curled, and then a V on its side. Ta da! Carrot, so larger so you can see it. Curly curve, V on its side, carrot nose. Um, mouth. Just some teeny tiny smiley pebbles. Lovely. Arms. I'm gonna rub out my carrot nose. Uh, arms, let's do, stick out here. Just do one main stick, twig, and then a few little offshooters. Same on this side. We'll thicken them up a bit in a second. You just sort of need to sketch them in. And let's do the snow line down here. You can add things like buttons down the front because of the scarf placage, placement, placement. <laughs> it, it's gonna look a bit weird to have lumps of coal sort of poking out, just a bit muddled visually. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna leave them out. I am gonna darken in this little tummy line here, you'll see why in a second. 
And that's it really. I'm gonna make some small adjustments as we ink. I'm just grabbing my Statler pigment liner, 0.2 as ever. I'm so nervous about going out of, out of frame. I keep having to check. So when we're inking, if like me and you're left-handed, you want to go top to bottom, left to right. That limits the amount of time that you're likely to have your hand passing over wet ink and therefore at risk of smudging it. I'm just going to add a bit of pattern into this ribbon here. If you are left-handed, <gasps> can you hear that? It's like a squeaky door outside. Um, if you're left-handed, do the opposite. Still do top to bottom, but do right to left. So we've done the sides of his little head here. Now the scarf, I'm actually gonna do the knot first. So a little bit of a square there. And then for the scarf, if you ever so slightly make these lines go out a little bit at the edge, so it's a bit wider and not just straight like a belt. It kind of almost looks like a, a bit like a bow, I guess. And then wibbly lines here, gives it a bit of motion, motion in the ocean. And our patterns. There we go. Uh, fringing, very important. And pattern up here. Remember and do the pattern in there. There we go. Now, next top tip. Oh, let's do his face actually, so that we're not having to go over wet ink. Two wee eyes. Carrot for a nose. Pebble smile. Now, arms. Do these before you do the body because then it looks like they are poking into the snow of the body and not just placed behind it. Keep these lines wobbly. As you can see, I'm making them a double thickness. So instead of just one line, it's two lines. And you can color it in the middle. Let the pen be wobbly, a little bit knobbly, keeps it more twiggy and real life like. Real life like, realistic. Now, his body, draw these lines behind those twigs. So now you see, it definitely looks like the sticks are into the snow as opposed to just poking in behind them, which I think makes a big difference. And then like this, you can't really see that line because of the scarf, don't worry about it, just ignore it. And then the snow line here. Lastly, I'm going to add some detailing, so a few wee polka dots here, a little bit of polka dotted around here. It's a bit like doing shading, but just not as intense, because you know this is snow, it's white, if you tried to do heavy shadows it would just look a bit weird. The hat, however, we'll do a little bit of hatching on that side. Um, for lines like that, always do the lines in the same direction. So I always started on the edge of the hat and drew the pen into the middle. Don't go, ch -ch 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 -ch. it'll look weird. Uh, so that way it keeps everything consistent. Let's have a few wee bits of snow here, some shading, and then finally, now, I know technically these are snowflakes, but they look like little mini snowballs. So we'll have them falling. Slight variation in size. Don't worry if they're not perfectly round. Dot them around. Perfecto. Now, I'm gonna leave this to dry for just a second and then we will rub out the graphite lines. This is a perfect little illustration to do um, on Christmas cards. It's also really sweet as a lunch box note. So I drew a little snowman like this for Evie's lunch yesterday, popped a little bit of paper and then wrote at the bottom, to Evie, I love you from mum, eat your cucumber, and then popped it in with our sandwich. Lovely, festive little note for our lunch boxes. 
So the ink's all dried and now we're just going to gently, emphasis on the gently, erase the graphite pencil. You need to use a white, clean and preferably plastic eraser. I use this one from Statler. Uh, it just lifts off pencil lines really, really nicely. There you go. One happy little snowman. Hello. So I hope you had fun learning to draw a little snowman with me. Now remember, my um, drawing practice is all based on method. So once you learn the method, you just learn to tweak it and adapt it. And you can find loads of new ways to um, add to your drawing practice. So once you have the basic snowman mastered, you can draw uh, a snowwoman, obviously. I mean, it's 2020. But you can also draw like a snow bunny, a snow cat, anything. Just sort of tweak it. Maybe a bit of ears going on, a little tail. It's your drawing. You make up the rules. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to share your creations. I love to see them. If you're posting on social media, please tag me. And if not, please upload to the colouring gallery, which also has like um, a How to Draw Inky Wonderlands bit folder in it that you can put your drawings in. I love to see them. I'll see you back here tomorrow when we will be learning to draw. <gasps> I've forgotten. I think it's a cake. I hope it's a cake. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow is cake. I'll see you there, possibly for cake, uh, but definitely for drawing. Okay, everyone, take care, be kind, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.